Hello and welcome back to the survival of WX78 and Chester in this dark and wretched world, which isn't quite so dark as you would think because it's the middle of the night. <laughs> and oh, it, I take it back, it's actually not the middle of the night anymore. No, it's actually the morning and WX79 is going to die of hunger. Okay, so what were we just doing? I can't even remember. I have no clue. I do know and I do remember this quite well, we just got some delicious meats. Meats not only of the pig variety, which we have mm, here, just straight meat. Oh my goodness, where's my base? Where are you, base? Ah, oh, there it is, right over there. I shall travel over there immediately, as that is where I'm heading. And when you're heading someplace, you generally go towards that place, yeah? I don't know, I've heard that. I think at least three people have said that in the past, so it's somewhat credible. I mean, it's not just me, but I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so we got some delicious succulent meats from a battle royale that occurred between pigs and... Oh, you freaking gobbler! Get out of here, gobbler! I'm gonna kill you! You just... You're eating more of the berries! Who do you think you are, Gobbler? Who do you think you are? Oh, if I weren't so slow and had such measly legs, I would hunt you down and beat you over the head with my spear. Look, it's another Gobbler! No! Oh, I killed it. I killed the Gobbler! Can I kill this one too? You're dead! Gobblers! Why did you think that it was a good idea to come in here and just lay down? Clearly, I wanted to kill you. That was just a bad move on your part. But a great move for me, because I now have the drum succulent, not just the drumsticks, the succulent drumsticks of count em, two gobblers coming to a grand, marvelous total of four gobbler legs for me to feast upon. Mmm. Oh, look at that. We live like kings today. Okay, let's see. What do we really need to do around here? I'm sure that there was something that I was doing before I, uh, you know, last episode and all that, but I can't for the life of me remember what it was. So we're gonna make a chest, because that's what we need right now. Not not Chester. Ch Chester, you're, you're still very important, but you're not what we need at this moment. We need some place to store the succulent meats that we have just uh, obtained from various sources, some of which being the death of gobblers, which is the greatest thing that I have witnessed in a long, long time. My goodness, has my spear rammed directly through the skull of the gobbler, and it gobbled its last gobble. Was it not brilliant, my friends? Was it not the greatest thing you had ever heard of in your life? The gobble of the gobbler. Yes. It was brilliant. Okay. Oh my goodness, what, what are we doing? Ah! Oh, so many, so many glorious rants. Those glorious rants that ultimately make me forget what I'm doing. Ah, uh, I'm building a chest. That's right. I remember, people. I remember. Okay. We are going to build a chest. And this chest will hold the succulent meats. And this time I'm not going to go off on a rant about the succulent meats and completely forget what I'm doing. We shall stay on track for at least the next few seconds until I get sucked, because that, that will happen. Mark my words, people. I will be sidetracked. And you, you cannot stop it, no matter how much you might wish to. I couldn't imagine why, perhaps because it's the rambling of a maniac. But you, you, you may try to sidetrack me. I think that's where I was going with that. You may try to sidetrack me, but it will not work, I can assure you, because we are on task. Hello, bird. Goodbye, bird. 
Chester, how many poops do you have within you? Sixteen poops. That is a decent amount of poops. Not quite enough, though, my friend. You have failed me this day. You should feel ashamed of yourself, Chester. <sighs> He'll figure out one day. What we need is more farms, because we need more food, despite the fact that we have a copious, just generous amount of food, just disgustingly large amount of food. Mmm, yeah, I just... I can't even talk about it. It is so disgusting. Um, that will eventually disappear. Whether I feast upon it, Chester being the type of person to just feast upon anything that he sees, even if it happens to be the lifeblood of a gobbler. Although, in truth, uh, the lifeblood of a gobbler is a pretty hard thing to uh, feast upon because... Look at WX78, he just has such squat little legs. It's just... How is he ever going to catch a gobbler, who's pretty much their job is to just run away from things? It's their lifestyle. How is he going to catch that? He's not gonna. It's not gonna happen. Uh, I mean, it's only on those rare occasions that the gobbler decides, oh, I'm gonna take a sleep right here. Is, is that a predator? In other words, WX-78, like right over there, ready to pounce? Yeah. Looks like a great place to just sleep right now, isn't it? Mmm, brilliant. But yeah, I mean, outside of that, WX-78 doesn't get to feast on the lifeblood of anything. Wait a minute. I'm thinking for a moment. No, okay. I thought I put the fish in there, and then it didn't produce anything, but I think it made meatballs and I ate them. I think that's how it worked. Mm, it's like 12 at night right now. Mm, the brain doesn't work this late. Yes, <laughs> it's amazing. Look, it's a berry bush. It is rebooting. <laughs> oh, WX78. That's not how organic creatures work. It's not how okay, good. That's what I thought. I thought it would be a full moon tonight, for it was a full moon last night. And the full moons tend to last two nights, I believe? I do believe that that's the case. Two nights is very nice. So, now... Ah, oh, now what? Ah. Oh. Mm. Ah, we need grass. That's what we need. Because we need to make more farms, because farms are going to be the only livelihood that we can have. Why are there evil flowers just dotted all over the place? I mean, I'm checking my sanity. It's 82. That's not even close to when normal flowers turn into evil flowers, which unfortunately is a thing. It's a pretty harsh thing, quite frankly, because then you can't gain your uh, sanity back by picking normal flowers. It's just, it's just mean. It's like hitting a man while he's down. Not just while he's down, but while he's, while he's broken his legs, and he's just sitting there like, oh my goodness, sir, please don't hurt me. I have broken legs. I cannot fight back. And then you just take a shovel and lodge it into the guy's skull. And he's like, Aah! and you're like, get over it, bro. I mean, <laughs> sucks to suck, noob. What now? Yeah. And then the police come and they're like, what in the world just happened? And you're like, <laughs> I wrecked a noob, bro. You got a problem with that? And the police, they're not having any of it. They're like, <laughs> No, no, look, you cannot just wreck noobs in real life. That's not, that's not how the world works. And you're like, oh, shut up, bro. That's totally how it works. Look, I wreck noobs all the time. And then you show them to your basement where there's just a ton of wrecked noobs. It's not even the wrecked noobs, it's their heads that you mounted on the wall because that, I don't, I don't know. You decided that it was great to memorialize every one of your noob victims, which, ah, uh, I mean, if that's your thing, all the power to you. But when the police come a-knocking, you probably shouldn't uh, show them to the memorialized uh, noob faces that are all over your wall. I just think that's not a sustainable business plan in terms of uh, noob slang. So yeah, the police won't be particularly happy about the whole uh, lodging your shovel in the face of a noob. Also, by the way, if you... If you are um, mounting the face of noobs on your wall, 
you should make sure that when you do wreck the noobs, you don't damage the faces. Because, I mean, with the guy whose legs were broken, I mean, you just damaged a perfectly good trophy. Get away from that bird! Get away! <sighs> Where was I? Ah, uh, yes. You just wrecked a perfectly good trophy by lodging that shovel in the head of that noob. Well, I mean, in the face. I mean, if you came at it from the side of the head, that could actually help you later, when you have to, like, saw the face off and all that, and then mount it up. I wonder if you have to tan it in the process. I don't know. You have to do something with that face. Because if you're not careful, that noob face is just gonna... It's gonna rot on you, and when noob faces rot, man, they stink. And then you don't have a trophy anymore, and you gotta keep those trophies, man. That's what it's all about. That's what the life is all about. Yep. Okay. We are continuing. Stinking evil flowers. Butterfly, get away from that evil flower. Do not pollinate it. Don't do it, butterfly. I'm watching you. Okay, we are creating even more improved farms so that we might survive longer through uh, the farming of many delicious crops. Varying from durians to corn, which I think is a pretty accurate uh, varying of crops that we make. And durians are just terrible. They're so smelly. They're just sitting out in the crop field and, you, and you're just walking by the crops. You haven't even looked at it yet and you're like... <laughs> What is that I smell? It's a durian. Why? Why a durian? I didn't want no durian. They smell. They don't taste no good. They hurt me when I eat them. Probably because I forgot to skin it and they're a bit spiny on the outside, but that's all technicalities. Look, the durian is just a terrible fruit. It's vicious. It doesn't care at all about your livelihood. The watermelon, on the other hand, it cares much about your livelihood. I mean, you could turn the, the watermelon into a marvelous hatch. Look at that. Right there. The fashion melon. Wouldn't that be so fashionable that you're, at your next ball you can just have half of a watermelon on your head? Try that. You'll get so many friends. It's not true. No, I don't I don't think they're gonna uh be too kind to the guy who uh put a melon on his head and then came to the ball. Generally people aren't down for that, but I mean if it's your thing, it's your thing and you gotta do it. You gotta do what you gotta do. I mean it's just the truth. It's just what people do is what they do. Which is neither profound nor profound. It's just, just a statement that is true. Hello, bird. I hate you, birds. The only good thing about those birds is that they bring us seeds. Everything else is terrible, because they try to eat the seeds that they bring. It's like they bring them down and they leave them there just long enough for you to see them. And then they're like, there we go, we got him. He wants it. He wants it. Now take it away. And they just come down, and they swoop down, and they take it away. It's terrible. Those birds are vicious, evil creatures. And speaking of vicious, evil creatures, they're totally dogs that are about to come down and try to kill us. Oh, there we go. There's one. Are you prepared to die, dog? Today is your day to die. It's your death day again. So many death days and so many dogs. I reign victorious this day. My enemies have died in droves. That was amazing. I feel like a true hero. Boop. Very good, very good. Our preparation has caused us to survive this attack by the wolves. Which is brilliant. That's just the best thing. Of course, next time they're going to come with terrible flaming wolves. I wish I was joking about that, but I'm not. There will be flaming wolves. And ice wolves. And other just terrible things. Really terrible things. Oh my goodness, my fire. It's dwindling. Come on, keep it up. Let's see what else. What can we make? It's saying we can make 
a ton of things. We can make a pitchfork. I don't want a pitchfork. I'm no peasant preparing a revolt. I need not your pitchfork to move the ground. I have a shovel. A razor. I don't grow hair. And Chester happens to keep himself nicely manicured with his ridiculous tongue. You don't get to see it because he's very shy about that. Oh, well. I say he's shy about that tongue, but he's just, he's just got a flopping out there. It's flopping right down over his lips. What else can we make? Structures? We can make hay walls, which are poop. Nobody wants hay walls. That's terrible. That's literally the worst thing I've ever heard of. Why would you make a hay wall when you can make a wood wall? It's so much better. My goodness. I just realized something. We could potentially... With this beefalo fur, right down here, look at it, it's beefalo wool. Look at this. Where is it? Where is it? Nope, nope, ah, there. Carpeted flooring. What? Now, we could have carpeted flooring all around our fire pit. Which is totally something that we should focus on right now, as the fire dwindles and we're about to dive in the terrible creatures of night. Nope, we're fine. We're fine. Uh, we're okay. Okay. Actually, what we do quite seriously need to attend to is uh, our sanity. Where are all of these evil flowers coming from? Where are you coming from? Ye that would try to cause our demise. How dare you. Hello, bird. Ah, uh, that's not a bird. That's a butterfly. I'm sorry. Look, they both start with B, so in my book, they're just the same thing. Just like a book and a bird is the exact same thing. I can't see any difference in them. Ha! <laughs> ha! You got smoked, butterfly. You're sitting on that flower, you're all like, Oh, it's such a nice day today. This is so brilliant. I love my flower. And then I just took it right out from under you. It takes a lot of precision to do that, by the way. Hello, frogs. How are you today? I see you have a particular flower here, and I would like to pick it and regain my sanity. Thank you very much. And if possible, we I could leave your lands without any uh, intrusion or uh, confrontation between you and the others. Hello, bees. I hate you, bees. You're terrible creatures. You only exist to cause me great pain. Let's see. Now we have enough... What were we even doing? Ah, right. We were regaining sanity. That's why I can't remember what we were doing. Let's put the petals down. There you go, petals. And let us begin to uproot many a trunk. Because those trunks cannot remain there. Although they may be a nice place to sit our rump upon. Really, we don't need to sit our rump because we are robots and we never tire. We just stand forever. So they are useless to us, and only act to occasionally bump our feet upon. So we must eradicate them to prevent the feet bumping. Because it really is a big issue. WX78 just bumps his feet everywhere. Seriously, all those evil flowers were legitimate flowers? How quickly do the legitimate flowers turn into evil flowers? That's a bit ridiculous. I wasn't even that low on sanity. I mean, he's... Just perpetually sane. He's a robot. He only listens to reason. When he looks around and sees the creatures of the night, he's like, da da na na, does not compute. Wow. Like, literally, immediately as I started saying that, I was like, why am I making those noises? WX78, your craziness is rubbing off on me. And you too, Chester. Look at you. Freaking Mimic. Look at him. It's nothing like the Mimics in Dark Souls. He's really nice. The Mimics in Dark Souls are terrible. I talk about Dark Souls a lot. That's because I have terrible memories of Dark Souls. And occasionally they come back to me in horrible fits. If you've ever played Dark Souls, you know exactly what I'm talking about. There's times when you just close your eyes and... And, and you see the Mimic. You're like, oh... You just, you just remember the feeling of watching yourself being eaten and being like, yep, that was a mimic. It really was. 
Now I'm being eaten. I really should have figured out that it was a mimic before being eaten. But alas, you had no hope. How could you possibly do it? Outside of using, like, I don't know, like poking it with a stick. That actually, oddly enough, that does work. You can just poke them with your sword and that's how you do it. Yeah. There we go. Hot tips if you're ever playing Dark Souls. Poke every chest with a sword before you open it. But don't hit it too much because if you break it, you lose the stuff and it turns into rubbish. And that's just no good. Nobody likes rubbish. It's useless to everyone. Here we go. Boop. Uproot. Uproot. And no. WX78, put it down. Carpeted flooring! How brilliant. It's just magnificent. Don't just drop the ground. Thank you very much. Look at our base. It's actually becoming a base. It's going to have carpeted flooring and everything. Isn't it amazing? I love it. For one, it happens to be brilliant. But we are in need of food. And carpeted flooring will not provide us with sustenance. At least last I checked. I mean, I haven't checked recently. Oh, we're just... Oh, mm, that's going to be delicious. We're just going to cut a little hole in the melon and then just stuff a ton of berries in and then just stick it over the fire and hope for the best. Because <laughs> I don't know what would happen out of that. Oh, it's a fistful of jam. Slightly flavored like a watermelon. That's brilliant. I love it. Don't you love it? You love it, right? Yeah, just say that you love it. Just humor me this once, please. It's brilliant. Ah, oh, look at that mandrake. It's so dead. I'm sorry, friend. I'm sorry I picked you and killed you. But you are kind of a prick as you try to follow me around everywhere and do your little, do your little jig. It's really annoying, friend. Maybe if you hadn't been so annoying, you would have survived, and I wouldn't have picked you in. Oh my goodness, that bird just ate my seeds! Mandrake, you are not my true enemy out here. I've come to realize that. Perhaps we could put aside our differences to end the scourge, which is freaking birds everywhere eating my seeds. I'm gonna get you one day, bird. I will wreck you! I swear by Chester that I will wreck your face. Because quite frankly, Chester's going to live much longer than I will. <laughs> it's just the truth. When I die, Chester, you shall inherit all of the wealth that I have upon this earth. Which is pretty much just a box of food and a couple farms. I mean, Chester, it's better than nothing. Come on, Chester. Just give me that. Why won't you even give me that? Uh, well, with that lamentable uh, excursion, just a ridiculous phrase, uh, we come to the end of the episode. I hope you liked it. Um, if you did, like and subscribe. Um, there'll be more in the future, because of course we can't just leave WX-78 out in the wilderness at night. He must continue to adventure and survive long into the days. Potentially much longer than anyone else. That would be great. That would be brilliant. Yes, well, but until then, thanks for watching, and enjoy the rest of your day.